Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Today it's going to be Light off-racing as Protoss versus Flash here on Medusa. Right side, it's going to be Larva, our orange Zerg player. Did I say left? I meant right side and the left side. It's going to be our purple Protoss. It is Light. Man, I love watching him off-race as Protoss. His Protoss is so good, especially against Terran. I feel like I've cast an off racing light as Protoss against Zerg, but can't remember if I did or not because I have three brain cells, because I've got three kids, and I'm over 40, and I don't know. Time has all lost all meaning since COVID. All right, so this is Medusa, a three-player map. Guessing right is Terry the Overlord here. We've got uh, PD the Probe moving out to scout for where the Zerg player is, throwing down a pylon. And we will see, yep, he is guessing correctly, and he sees the Overlord, so he knows where Larva is. Very, very good. Very good probe scouting, Mr. Light. These are stacked temples, right? Right. Been a long time since I cast a, a, a match on this map. But yeah, those are stacked temples. He needs splash damage to get through them, through them quickly. You know that. I know that, and this is an overpool timing here from Larva, not a hatch first. So, economical, safe, fairly aggressive, all three in this nine uh, overpool opening. This probe says, I'm gonna block your hatch, I'm gonna block your hatch, I'm gonna block your hatch, I'm gonna block your hatch. I'm gonna block your hatch. <laughs> and this drone is winning the worker battle. And oh my gosh, the jukes! The jukes to get away. Light. Very, very excellent. And ka -chow. Hatch down at about 11 supply. So, forge opening into a nexus. Safe against a pool first, safe against an over pool. Safe against a hatch first, but too safe that way. <laughs> Overlord says, mm -hmm. yes, it's going to be a forge. I don't need to expect zealots anytime soon. And yes, I am watching ASL cast by Tastosis. Yes, indeed. Man, snow versus speed. Woof. What a match. I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who didn't see, but holy smokes. That was some impressive stuff. Is this the same? Yeah, it's the same probe that was juking the drone and got away. He came back in only to juke Zerglings. Very, very good. And a third hatch in this minerals only position. Partially for minerals, partially keep an eye on this high ground, right? Because, uh, yeah, Dragoon's on this high ground. High Templar on that high ground. Hmm, no bueno. No bueno indeed. Very, very weird map, Medusa. And this is an entrance, right? Yep, this is an entrance to right into this third base and the high ground over your main base. And there are no tanks in this matchup. But yeah, tanks are very, very good in this map. But again, no Terran. Lair coming up. And metabolic boost. As soon as we have 100 minerals, maybe. No, are we just not getting speed? He's refusing to get enough resources to get speed here. Mm, okay, fine. Tossing up speed at like four minutes. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have to have speed. Right? We don't need to catch anything here. Don't worry about it. There are no zealots. They're not going to have speed. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. Cybercore coming in. Uh, there's a zealot hoofing out here, but he's not going to have speed, so there's nothing to worry about him, right? Stargate on the way here, too. What's going on in the world? I saw Tune 2 for the third time today. My goodness, it's so good. It's just, I don't know, it makes me feel things, man. The music, the cinematography, the performances, everything just comes together. And when I see Dune, I just feel Dune. For the next, I mean, I saw it in the morning today, so the rest of the day I've just been feeling Dune-y. Even when I saw it at night, I'm like, whew. Into the next morning, I'm feeling Dune, man. Pretty strong stuff. Anyway, Stargate on the way. 
cannon there. What do we got? What's the plays? Anything crazy in this game? And it's a DEFCON, we uh, DEFCON 1 replay from RJB. Check him out. YouTube.com slash chat RJB underscore TV. Subscribe to him. Like his videos. Let him know that Falcon sent you. Very nice. Plus one. Uh, air weapons. We know, we know, we know what this is. Just cast an incredible ZVP on Saturday if you missed that one. Between effort and snow, holy smokes, that was a banger. That got an epic tag for sure. If you like ZVP, check it out. I know this is another ZVP, but I don't know. It's light off raising. It makes me feel different. Like it's an entirely different fourth matchup somehow. I mean, it's whatever. You know what I mean. An unknown matchup where it's just light versus Zerg. It's not Terran. It's Light's Protoss, which makes it entirely new and interesting in a lot of ways. So, it is going to be Corsair. It is going to be Scourge on the way. Paris Scourge coming in. Hydra Dang gets started about the same time. Macro hatches. Yo, two macro hatches. And he scouts the Hydra Den. And he's like, oh, is there a safer Overlord to kill? I'm not even going to go after that one. Okay. Interesting. Just more scouting. Trying to see if there's any lings out on the map. If there's anything, maybe trying to... There's nothing. You need lurkers if you're Zerg to really knock this thing down in any amount of time whatsoever. I'm not even sure checking this back door makes any sense at all, because this is your back door. That's why that pylon is there. Scourge hunting, 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 hunting Corsairs, going for a scout themselves, trying to see if there's anything untoward happening here. And, uh, no, not really. Nothing untoward whatsoever. There's a Reaver on the way, which, yes, the Scourge doing up scouting the support base, so that means Reaver. And this is Light Reaver tech, so we'll see how this goes for us. Again, we know how he is against Terran. We see his incredible macro expanding skills in that situation. You don't quite need to go as hard when there's a Zerg player you're fighting against because it could be more cost efficient against them when they're on more bases than you. We know how that works. So it's not quite the same thing. You don't quite need to get to a third base and a fourth base and a fifth base against a Zerg player like this, right? I mean, it doesn't hurt anything if you get more bases than a Zerg, obviously. It's just harder to do so because, you know, the Ling macro is insane. Hydras are being produced here out of, I mean, what is this? One, two, three, four, five hatches? Five hatches at seven minutes is a lot of Hydralisks, man. So this feels a little Hydra busty to me. I love how many Hydras are po parked under. Look at, you can barely see the Hydralisks. They're so well hidden under these overlords. I mean, look, he's, like, he's intentionally hiding them at this point. He's like, hey, Light, come attack these overlords. They're all clumped up. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You don't know how many, you don't know how many hiders are under here. I mean, I don't think it's that many at this point. Uh, there's like one, I guess. Three. See, it's hard to tell even for me. Okay, Light's better than I am. You can tell. All right, what do we got? Shuttle speed on the way. Reavers are out. Let's go. Eight minutes, Corsair Escort. Let's go for a Reaver drop. See if we can get this thing done. There are Hydras up here. There are Hydras down here. Yeah, man. Look at Larva understanding the timing involved right now. He knows. He knows the timing of when to worry about getting Reaver dropped. And he's got Hydras in beautiful positions to shut this down. So Light unloads where he can, which is on this high ground. Going to try to get a big hit. Bam! Right in the middle of those Hydralisks. Two of them go down. Not for free, because Scarabs are not free, but for pretty cheap, nevertheless. Fourth base coming up down south here. Loving that from Larva. Loving the expanding. He is really good at macro for sure. Lings are like, we will trade out individual Lings for Scarabs. I think that's okay, especially if you can get a couple hits off on that Reaver and injure it a bit. Burrows on the way from Larva. Pretty fast Burrow. I wonder if he's planning on some kind of a Burrow trap, like a Hydra Burrow trap or something. DT's on the way. From Light, loving that. He's getting DTs before he's getting Storm. No, 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 no. I mean, again, if you want to turn yourselves into Lurkers, absolutely go after that stack Temple set up 100%. So this is like a nine minute, we showed up with Hydras kind of a thing, but there's a bunch of Zealots and four cannons and you're just a little bit late to that party, guys. Yeah, see Storm coming in after DT. Crazy. So we're trying to Corsair DT this thing on some level. Two Reavers though. Oh my gosh. Ow, ow. Ow. Gosh, it's no, it's not good. It's really not good here to try to fight against two Reavers with that many Hydras. You want some Lings in there, right? You want some Lings in there to soak up shots. 
to get hits off, to let the Hydra sit back there and get hits off on the Reaver too without taking direct shots themselves because the Lings are eating the Scarabs. That's way better for the Zerg. Singularity charge on the way. And what do we got? We got a High Templar kind of outside the wall for some reason. This DT wants to get out here. Oh, he wants to get picked up. He wants to get picked up. We're going to send a DT in. But once again, I just look at that Ling placement. Sees the shuttle coming in. There's an Overlord following the... How does he know? How does he know? Oh my gosh, that DT is going to get absolutely nothing done. That is the antithesis of a lot of DTs we've seen on the channel recently. We have some had some incredibly efficient DT play on the channel in the last, oh, I'd say, week or so. Uh, click on a Protoss game and you will see DT efficiency through the roof, man. It is great. So, third base coming in from light. Late, I gotta say. Is he attacking his own? Wow, he's killing his own Stargate. I guess a High Templar is stuck in here, but... Can he get out if that Stargate's gone? I still feel like he's stuck. The fact that he can float means he really shouldn't be stuck behind any of these buildings. I feel like he should be able to kind of float over them, but no. It's not how the game physics work, man. Ah, it is. It's a burrow hydra trap up here. Hoping against hope that a shuttle... <gasps> that a shuttle... Oh, no. They skipped it. How did they know? Alright. Well, here we go again. Scourge. No. Hydras. Snipe at a Corsair. They can't get the Overlord. There are no DTs in this group. Four zealots come in. Man, it's just anti-hydra tech here, dude. Hang on. Oh, is this a trap? Nope. All right, fine. This is really problematic stuff, dude. Now this is zealots keeping the lings back. Ugh. No hits. Barely any hits on these reavers, man. Sunken down. A little bit of damage. Okay, fine. That reaver's almost dead, but still alive. And this third base is in a lot of trouble here, too. And the hatch is down. Bam. Hatch down. Suck up. Third base down. Hydra's try to chase that shuttle out. No. Hydra's try to bust up here also. No. Absolutely not. This is some... My gosh. Light. Oh. The trap was sprung. Did they get... No. No. They did not get a shuttle there, did they? Okay. We gotta look. We gotta look. We gotta see. Man, three round too far. That's okay. We can watch this again. Protoss players are like, yes. Reaver shots on hatcheries are so juicy and delicious. One of my favorite things to watch before bed. And there it goes. Hatch down. Man down. I keep thinking it's dead earlier, but there we go. Okay. No, it's just one shuttle that gets out of here. I knew that. So, this is... Okay, this is perfect Hydra Trap time. Where's the... Okay. Just a little too late on the un un burrow, I guess. Light's like, it's cool, man. Nice try. High five, bro. Hive on the way. Thank goodness every Zerg player said, let's not wait until 20 minutes to try to get a hive out. Goodness to gracious. So, three base in it here without a third gas is the Protoss. He seems okay. He's got a ton of Dragoons. High Templar in this mix. Jitter bugging out Dragoon here. We've got two Reavers at the same time. Lurkers are up. Workers not going after this temple. Hard to do. Storm's out. Reaver's out. Mm, not really the time of the lurker at the moment. It's not really the time of anything for the Zerg, though. Like, <laughs> this composition, Dragoon, Zealot, Reaver, High Templar, is just anti-Zerg in every possible way. Really, the only thing that mitigates this at all is Plague. And Dark Swarm takes the, takes the Dragoons entirely out of the play, obviously. Adrenal's coming in. Defiler Mound would be super great. Let's get a Defiler Mound. No. Okay. No Defiler Mound yet. That's fine. Totally fine. Got a bunch of plus one Corsairs here. I love that Protoss never gets anything beyond plus one Corsairs in this matchup. They get plus one, and then they're like, nah, we're good. Like, you don't think plus two or plus three would be good? I guess someone's probably done the math. And basically said, no, plus two and plus three is worthless against their... Scourge gets some connections. Couple of those Corsairs go down, and maybe one there. Pretty good concave. Mass Hydra pull back to the Lurkers. We need extra DPS. 
We need some splash DPS. Absolutely. Ooh, two more Corsairs go down. Good engagement here, though. But, God, oh, the storms. The Reaver hits. The Lurkers are doing some work. Wait, where's your OBS light? Okay, never mind. Apparently, Light did not bring an OBS with him. There it is. OBS is here from downtown. Sniping a couple of those hiders. It's 181 to 138. Light is up big time and kicking butt, taking names. Consumes on the way. That means the Defiler round came in recently. Zerglings, Snipe High Templar, guys. You need. Okay, so they're not sniping High Templar. They're just straight up fighting against plus two Zealots when they have no upgrades at all. That is a horrible position to be in if you're a Zergling. They're waiting for Adrenal. No, they have Adrenal. That's right. These are zero, zero Adrenalings. That's why they're engaging here at all. Nice storm. Nice attempt at a surround. Hydra. Ooh, Hydra's got the Reaver. Where was the shuttle pickup on that? Light. A little bit lazy losing that Reaver for almost no reason at all. Goodness. Yeah, now the Adrenalings are coming in in numbers. Is there Storm? Yes. Is there always Storm? Kinda, but this is a really nice... I mean, Larva needed this. He needed this kind of a full surround, crackling, shutting down Dragoons. High Templar dealing with Zealots on a certain level. By that I mean not a great level, but it exists. It's still a 50 supply lead right now from Light. He's on three bases. This four base economy of Larva is what's going to be able to keep him in this thing. Plague's on the way after consume. Fine. I mean, yes, obviously. Obviously, that's what you want. Yeah, this little Hydra group that is supposed to deal with incoming threats is just dope. Fight with the Sunken, boys. There you go. Fighting with the Sunken plus Adrenalings. Plus, they've got plus one. One now. One, one. Good. Yeah, good luck taking down that Lurker Egg. That's not really your forte, boys, is it? No. Eh, but the Zealots die. Mm, they, do, they do okay. They do all right. Protoss not going to be super happy about that. It looks like Lord's going to or try to take a fourth base. Here at the 16-minute mark at about the 1 o'clock position. And so far, it's Lurkers, it's Lings, it's Hydras, and it is Defilers. Although I have not seen a Defiler with my own eyes yet. And in fact, this may be the first Defiler to visit us in the game today. Oh my gosh, good spot, great spot. Shutting down that uh, High Templar storm drop beautifully. Trying to sneak a base over here is a Larva for a fifth base down in the bottom left corner. That's not happening because guess what's coming into the screen right now? A million Zealots. That's what's coming into the screen right now. That is a canceled hatch if ever I have seen one. It's not even close to not being canceled. Yeah. yeah, save it, save it, save our guy, save our souls, SOS. Kadaren Amulet, always a good upgrade, you don't want to forget that one, Protoss players, if you are playing the Brood Wars. And this time, we're not going to try to naked expand with no defense whatsoever. Let's go ahead and expand with a bunch of 1-1 Adrenalings. Maybe some Hydras. Now it's safe to send a drone over, although I do not see a drone being sent over. This guy, this guy, right click, right click on him, got him. Ooh, bunch of Dragoons alone? Uh, back to, okay. Wow, how did Light let this happen? He just let these Dragoons go out onto the map in the scary place. Nice plague on those Zealots. Man, okay, Defiler dies, but Okay, like one of these Dragoons makes it out. Maybe that guy. Yeah, these Zealots don't want to fight against 1-1-lings when they've been plagued. Not even close. Ooh, Ventral Sacks. We got drops on the way from the Zerg. That's good stuff. <laughs> I love this. It's like, well, maybe this is a little bit too far. Let's expand down here instead. This is, no, this is a little further because it's a main base. More Ling stuff, but Reaver's clearing that out. Sick plague, though. Holy smoke and Zola, that plague was fantastic. Really, really good stuff. Excellent stuff. All right, here we go. Storm up. Ah, lings, just nothing but lings. Oops, all lings jumping on in here. Storm placement, really important. And Light, who, again, does not main Protoss, is placing these storms 
almost perfectly. You guys, we need to use this time to snipe down a High Templar. They keep fighting Zealots in that situation. It's not what you want to do. Ooh, this is fun. This little lurker setup over here. No expanding for you. They're like, okay, do we try to wipe this out or we try to kill this base? These are the options. No. This is just a no for these lings. No, even with Defiler support. Absolutely not. There's two Reavers here. There are two Reavers here. You got to scout out what you're dealing with. Yeah, there you go. Before you throw down the Dark Swarm. Goodness. Somehow. Okay, not somehow. Through macro and some decent trading, Larva is actually ahead right now in overall supply, which is insane. He's down in worker count, 47 to 57. Not good. Yeah, these lurkers. Get on out, boys. Get on out of there. Metasynaptic node coming in. I'm curious to see when if drops are going to be used here by Larva or not. This base got canceled? Yes. Yeah, I don't know about this from Larva. I mean, he's what on? Effectively, four bases against four bases. Another great plague from Larva, though. My goodness. Just big, chunky salsa plagues all over this. So I looked, I saw this thing the other day, and it translated the word sauce in English to salsa in Spanish. And I was like, is the, is, is that what that is? The word for sauce, salsa? Because I feel like there's other kinds of sauce in Spanish speaking countries. Do they just call everything salsa? Somebody who speaks Spanish natively needs to help me out with this. Okay, the plagues are great, and Defiler's willing to die for this. Definitely 100%. That guy, too. Willing to die to get sick, disgusting plagues out. Lights back up by about 20 supply, notice. His macro's been insane. The space being protected by cannons and reavers is enough, and now Light's gonna wander over to this left side 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock position and shut it down. Not that Larva had set up here, but, you know, just making it fit for Protoss consumption at this point. Uh, still trying to take this 6 o'clock spawn location. I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna happen, though. I kinda... Alright, well... This is what the drops are for! This is why we are dropping! There are Reavers here! That's a lot of Adrenalings hacking away. Both Reavers go down. Cannons down. Hydra's in the mix here, too. That is how you take down a base if you're Zerg. Larva executes that to perfect. Perfection just absolutely crushes that base. And sure, getting some lurkers and lings up this way too. Just trying to prevent a new base. Well, I'm just trying to save this one, I guess, but no. Light wins the battle. He's heading down this way. This left side, 9 o'clock base for the Protoss replaces the fourth quite nicely. And this is definitely a dead base. This is a Nidus that I'm not sure is going to be able to fulfill its purpose of defending this base today. Okay, more lanes, more Hydras streaming across the map here. The Nidus does pop! A bunch of Lurkers come out here. There's Detection, there are Archons, there are Zealots, there are High Templar. Uh, the Lang's trying to dodge those storms. And my gosh, I think he's going to save this base. What a madman Larva! Holy smokes, that was an epic save. Can't believe that Nidus Canal, or Nidus Canal came up. Woo, free High Templar 2. This base is not all that much defended either. Larva starting to swarm a little bit here on 47 drones. Not at the 65 he wants. And there is your storm, man. So I think that kind of missed a little bit. That wasn't as good of a storm as I would like it to be if I was a Protoss player. Honestly. Oh, what's the word you're trying to do? You're trying to storm drop down here? These Hydras sniffed you out yesterday morning. Get up the ramp, guys. Oh, Schult. No, no. Backing it out. Now, again, a good Protoss player. We'll try to find the angle for that shuttle. Snow is excellent at it. Perhaps the best in the world at it. Light not quite able to get there. How did one Zergling make it through? I guess maybe because these units came down this way. And they're fighting. They've been plagued. They have been chunky salsa right in the face here. It's 115 to 82 supply. Th I mean... Light was up until that fourth base got dropped and obliterated by Larva in one of the more effective base takedowns I've seen from a Zerg player in a long time. The storms are... Oh, my gosh. He did get back around. Okay, so Light says, shut up, Falcon. I'm as good as Snow is at this. Holy crap, Archons got down to this base. Run, drones, run! 
I think this hatch is dead, too. These are definitely plus three Archons. Yep, and plus three Zealots. Yep, hatch down, man down. There we go. Uh-oh. So, mm, Light needed that, I think. Although, Light's down to 60 supply all of a sudden. What in the name of Ferticus McDudson happened there? Okay, I think Light just might be dead, folks. He can't save this base. Storm is good. Not enough cannons. And that's it. GG, Light taps out and Larva. Wow, is your winner in 24 minutes of nonstop action. That was insane. Hit the like button if you enjoyed that one. Subscribe too. My goodness. And it all came down to this. This was it. This was the game winning play. I think if Light hangs on to this base and is able to take this, I think he wins. But my goodness, this drop, Dark Swarm, Pow, 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 Lings, Hydras, Defilers, Wabba, see you later, Nexus. And then, yeah, I mean, great storm drop here. This hatch goes down. This hatch gets canceled. Almost died. Clutch Nidus saves it. Just a series of some incredible plays here from Larva. And really, okay, not really. He's at 42 drones. He's not even at 50 drones. He's not even at 60 drones, let alone 65 drones. Love the macro hatches in the main. I mean, come on. Every good Zerg player these days is getting those macro hatches. And he used the Dark Swarm and especially the Plague to the utmost of its ability today in ways that make every Zerg player happy inside. That's exactly what this was. Wow. Fantastic. I got to say that Light was a little bit late, I'd say, on his fourth base. But I don't know. Not like Larva had taken this whole bottom side of the map by the time this thing came up, you know. Just kind of, he was playing the game. Yep, fully upgraded Cracklings by the end of the game. 3-1 Zealous should be able to hang unless they've been plagued, and then they really can't hang against 3-3 Cracklings, not cost for cost. Yeah, man. I mean, the holding of this base was massive. And then this base going down, and bam. I think that's it in a nutshell. I mean, wait a, I mean, Light had some really nice Reaver stuff up here. Oh, killed this hatch too. So, I mean, he killed a bunch of hatches today. Couldn't get, really get any tech structures. Couldn't really get into the main to mess with production that much. But at the end of the day, he probably needed to. Maybe expand a little bit, a bit better too. But shoof, off racing light. So fun. So fun. Oh. All right, that was fantastic. What do we got? 186,000 points, 172,000 by light. He outproduced light by mm, 7 to 2 ratio there and a 5 to 2 on the kill. There you go. This is your number. Those of you who like the statistics, buildings raised 13 to 4, not a big deal. And then Larva outspending light by about 7,000 resources in 24 minutes. That will do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. My goodness. All right, that was fun. That was beyond fun, I think, if you're a Zerg fan. If you're a Protoss fan, you're a bit bummed out about it. But hey, you can't win them all. If you want to win them all, you're greedy. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That was super, super good, man. That was really fantastic. And at the end of the day, that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Sarkar Brood War Remaster. Go ahead at that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw, what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself. Mm -hmm.